Hello, today's story is called Jesus and the boy with the food basket. A boy packed a lunch bag with small loaves of bread, a little bit like this, and some fish, a little bit like this. Everyone was talking about Jesus and how he healed the sick. News had arrived that Jesus was nearby and the little boy followed others from his village so he could see him. Jesus and his 12 disciples had arrived by boat and lots and lots of people had gathered to listen to him. There were over 5,000 men, women and children. The little boy found a really great place to sit and listen. All day Jesus taught the people to live as God wanted. He taught them about the kingdom of God and about forgiveness. It was now evening and soon it would become dark. No one wanted to go home, but everyone was starting to feel a little bit hungry. The disciples knew that this was a really remote place. Philip said, I'll go and tell Jesus to stop now so that people can get home or go to a local village to find something to eat before it becomes too dark. But when Philip suggested this to Jesus, he replied, they don't need to go away. You find them something to eat. Philip and the disciples were puzzled. It would take more than half a year's wages to find enough bread to be able to feed all the people in this huge crowd. The little boy heard everything. He had five loaves and two small fishes left in his basket. Hmm, I could give my basket to Jesus, he thought. The boy went to one of Jesus' disciples named Andrew. I want to give my food basket to Jesus, he said. OK, said Andrew. Jesus, here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will that go amongst so many? Andrew asked. But Jesus said, it is enough. We need no more. The disciples were very surprised. Jesus turned to his disciples and said, get everyone to sit down on the grass in groups of 50. The disciples began organising the people. How can Jesus share five loaves and two fishes amongst so many people, they all wondered. Then everyone went silent and all eyes looked at Jesus. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish in his hands and held them up. He gave thanks to God and prayed that he would bless the food. Jesus broke the food into smaller pieces and gave some to each of his 12 disciples. Go and share the bread and the fish with the people sitting down, he said. He was testing their faith. The disciples looked at the small pieces of food and then they looked at the large crowd. But they trusted Jesus and they did what he said. Incredibly, as they gave the food away, they had more and more to give away. Jesus and the boy also ate bread and fish. The boy was so happy to be with Jesus and to know that Jesus had blessed his food. That's the end of our story. I think we learnt how important it is to trust God in everything and to give our gifts to him so that he will use them. Just as the little boy gave his gifts of bread and fish to Jesus and he used them to feed over 5,000 people. Have you made your craft yet from your Lent pack? Look, here's a beautiful, brightly coloured fish. And it says on there, give Jesus your gifts. He will use them. I hope you enjoy making the craft. Looking forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Bye.